Hi, I am Nicole Gregg, CBA from Adelaide, Australia, and my business is called Nifty Entertainment Presents Twisted Balloons. My beginning and how I got into balloons, um, I find is quite a, a funny one. Um, about 10 years ago now, some friends of mine from Perth came to visit and um, I'm actually a music teacher by trade, a classical guitarist, and they were making balloons for my children who were only a couple of years old. And um, he said to me towards the end, would you like to learn? And I quite flatly said, no, 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 I'm not gonna be a balloon artist, what a crazy job. Um, anyhow, he talked me into making my very first balloon animal, which was not a dog, it was a one balloon fish. And I was like that the whole time. So then he asked again, so would you like to learn? And I went, yeah, no, nah. no, not happening. Anyhow, um, he left us a lot of Qualitex products and Qualitex pumps and some, oh, I hate to say it, but some bad diagrams on single balloon animals. My husband at the time was extremely interested in doing it. So we kindly thanked him and they were on their way. It took me about six months and I hadn't touched anything after they left. And I said to my husband, um, I don't know how much this has cost them. We should send it back. Oh, I don't want them to be out of pocket for something I'm not gonna touch. Um, so I have to say, they kind of were the stepping stone, but really what got me into balloons at the end was my husband. He said to me before he left for work, he said, you know what, Nicole, give it a go. When I come home from work, if you don't like it, we'll send it all back. Now the irony, I'm just gonna tr backtrack a little bit because as a kid, I would actually stage my music practice. Um, I would set my guitar out to make it look like to my mum I had practiced. So I, I think back now and I wonder why I didn't stage it, just drop balloons all around the room but maybe there was something calling me to this profession. But um, lo and behold, he went to work and eight, nine hours later, he came home. The couch was full of balloons and I was absolutely hooked. So that's, so yeah, I, uh, I think every day I'm grateful for the industry that I've fallen into. My favorite Qualitex balloon. Need to think, no I don't, quick link. Whether it comes in a six inch or a 12 inch, each size is excellent, so yes. Quick links, because it's quicker with the link. A lot of people would think my favourite Qualitex colour would be um, Wildberry, and I do love Wildberry, but I've always got to go, when I think about my favourite colour, I have to go back to when I first started 10 years ago, and my favourite colour actually was lime green when I first started. So that would definitely be my favourite. Still to this day, Qualitex colour. Best advice I think I was ever given in the early days, and that was my, I'd been twisting for about two years. I went to my first international convention as a delegate. Probably the best advice I was given when I started was to work soft. So when we're talking about working soft, it would be obviously to fully inflate the balloon. So whether it's a quick link, to fully inflate the quick link and then bring it down to the size that you want. It just stretches the latex. Uh, it makes it a lot more pliable and a lot softer to work. So whether you do it with a 260, 160, 350, whatever size, a heart, a round, et cetera, um, yeah, fully inflate and then bring it down to the size that you want, as I said, it stretches. I always say, when, even when people ask me on the job, what's your favourite balloon or what's your favourite design, I always think it's like asking me which one is my favourite child. So I, I don't like to choose between them. But if I was going to stem back and change it maybe from favourite to most popular, it would have to be um, my kangaroo and my reindeer. And um, I must admit, even a lot of people make them around the world now, which is great. But I know when, even when I make, make them, it's, um, yeah, it's always so well received. So yeah, they would have to be my most popular and my most favorite. So I, I get a double one on that one. The best advice I could give to a, a newbie, which is funny, because I still feel like a newbie after 10 years, um, is just to, Go to conventions, go to training, look at um, material that teaches techniques. To me, the best thing, um, best advice I can give is just absorb everything because a lot of us have already worked a lot of things out. So if you can get a head start by picking up tips and tricks, as I said, whether it's yep, training conventions, um, you know, online material, most definitely just absorb, absorb, absorb. I love to teach, that's probably been one of my big, biggest success. Um, yeah, being able to travel and just share what I do. So yeah, very honoured and, and blessed with that. Whether it's teaching or whether it's getting out there and entertaining the kids, I must admit I'm just like a big kid at heart. 
So I do love getting out there and, and working with the general public and the kids, big kids, small kids. So that entertainment value is just priceless. It's, I have so much fun and I love to share the laughter and the designs and yeah, just balloon fun. The least favourite part of my, my job is definitely book work because when you run your own business, even though it's my husband and myself and we obviously network with other entertainers, um, definitely paperwork, invoicing, making sure you get paid, checking the bank, paperwork, paperwork. Who likes paper? Nobody likes paperwork. It's a really simple question here. If I wasn't a balloon artist, I'd be dead and buried because there is no better job in the world 